10. Hey guys, today is Monday, August the 30th. I'm your host, Moses Rangel, and you're watching The Quickie Show, where we scour the web to bring you a recap of the local news in San Antonio. Here are the top stories for this past week. The San Antonio Business Journal reported last week that Taco Cubana and Kielabasa Sausage are teaming up to produce a limited time Kielabasa branded sausage and egg breakfast taco. This will be the first co-branded product on Taco Cabana's menu. The two companies sought the partnership because both companies have deep roots in San Antonio. Taco Cabana has since been in San Antonio from 1978 and Kielabasa operates their factory on the west side since 1949. KBB TV 29 reported this week that TexDot has a new half police car, half taxi cab. This TexDot pimp ride is a new campaign geared to discourage anyone from drinking and driving. Officials say last year there were 144 alcoholic related crashes during a two week period around the Labor Day weekend here in San Antonio. The car will make its rounds around San Antonio through September the 7th. The San Antonio Police Department will have up to 20 additional officers looking for drunk drivers specifically during the Labor Day weekend. Remember, a taxi cab will cost you anywhere between $20 and $25 and a DWI can cost you up to $17,000. The San Antonio Current reported that Men's Health voted San Antonio the seventh fattest city and PETA decided to break out the hot dogs and do something about it. Bikini clad girls wearing strategically placed lettuce leaves handed out free veggie dogs on the front steps of City Hall last Tuesday in an effort to promote the veggie lifestyle. Even though our stats regarding our city's overall health isn't great, we are making great strides in raising the city's overall awareness of healthy eating. In more news, KTSA 550 says, don't be surprised to see troops on the ground and an unusual amount of military helicopters flying over San Antonio. A joint military training exercise is underway. The training sites have been carefully selected to ensure that the exercises do not negatively affect area residents and their daily routines. You may see some helicopters landing in secluded areas around town. Training ox, uh, exercises will continue through Friday, September the 3rd. Finally, MySA.com reported last week that there's a different energy and a buzz around campus this year at University of Texas at San Antonio. According to a preliminary headcount, UTSA topped 30,000 students this year, a milestone for what once was regarded as a commuter college. A record 16,000 students applied to UTSA this year, and the buzz there is that there are more options, making it a lot easier for people to stay on campus and get the most at UTSA. And that concludes this edition of The Quickie Show. Remember to email us with your comments, questions, or story submissions to fans at quickieshow.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash quickie show or me at the Moses Rangel or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moses Rangel. You can also take a listen to some of my music on myspace.com forward slash Moses Rangel. Well, that's all the time that we have. I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on The Quickie Show. In an effort to promote the veggie lifestyle, even though our stent are uh, the San Antonio, the San Antonio record, uh, there is, there's a girl who's got like this lettuce leaf bra on, it's really tight dude, it's so funny.